What's up, YouTube? It's Dre from Tip and Dre TV, and today on Tip and Dre TV, we're gonna make a simple chicken soup recipe. I tell you guys, when it's cold outside and I'm not feeling well, there's nothing like chicken soup. And it is so easy to make, and the ingredients you're gonna need are probably around your house. All right, so I like to go to any store, grocery store or whatever, and grab a rotisserie chicken. Even the ones that are a day old are good because they're cheap and they're plentiful. So get yourself a rotisserie chicken. There's a lot of flavor in there. There's a lot of bones in there and everything. So we're gonna use one rotisserie chicken. This is a probably a medium sized rotisserie chicken, whatever size they have. Get it, get yourself a rotisserie chicken. We're gonna do a whole onion, a couple of stalks of celery, and two large carrots. We're gonna put in some black pepper, some thyme, granulated garlic, granulated onion, some bay leaf, and I'm gonna add a touch of celery salt. And just like we did on our bone broth video, we're gonna add, in this case here, I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I don't want to taste the vinegar, but I do know that vinegar will extract the collagen and the goodness out of the bones in the uh, chicken soup. All right, so we've got our, we've got our uh, chicken. Let's get our vegetables cut up. They're all cleaned. And what we're gonna do is just slice these up. We're gonna open them up because as you're cooking, I have increased the surface area here. I've exposed it. And we're gonna extract a lot of flavor out of this celery. All right, this is a great time to make chicken soup. Um, you can make yourself uh, a pot of rice, put yourself a pot of rice on, throw this over it. You can throw this in with some ramen. Um, it's just great. Okay, so we have our carrots, our, our celery cut up. Next, we're gonna cut up our carrots, keep it rustic. We're gonna open this up here. Slice up these carrots. These are some big carrots, man, I tell you. I tell you, we're gonna do that open up these carrots and our onion. Cut that onion in half, leave the skin on. There's a lot of flavor in the skin, all right? We're gonna pull these out at the end, so don't worry about that. There's a lot of flavor in the skin. All right, let's get our pot. Now, we're gonna cook this chicken soup on the stove. So the first thing we wanna put in there, let's put our chicken in the box, okay? Let's put all that good, chicken now look at there look at all that stuff coming out you see that that's in the bottom of the rotisserie chicken keep that don't throw that away there's a lot of flavor there we want all of that as much of that as possible in our chicken soup all right let's get our carrots in there let's get our onions in there let's get our celery in there okay yeah we want a lot of flavor in this chicken soup all right now, let's get our uh, seasonings in here. Now, in this, this is size, I am probably only going to we'll do smaller quantities. Let's do a teaspoon method. All right. So let's do a teaspoon of peppercorns, a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of of granulated garlic, a teaspoon of granulated onion, and we're gonna put a couple of uh, bay leaves in here. Do not crush your bay leaves, all right? I'm gonna use three bay leaves. Do not crush them. You don't wanna eat these things, they could choke you. So, we're gonna pull those bay leaves out at the end. Also, I'm gonna add a a teaspoon of celery salt. And that's gonna bring that, enhance that flavor of the celery without adding too much salt. And then to help us pull that collagen out of those bones and help make this a really nice chicken soup, we're gonna add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Oh, look at here, I got some stocks. Hey, this goes in the pot too. All right, so let's get the water in here. 
We're going to put enough water in here to cover everything, cold water to get started. All right, that looks good. Gives us a little bit of space towards the top if there's any expansion or anything like that. All right, so let's put this on medium high heat. Make sure your flame stays underneath your pot. You don't want your flame coming on the sides of a pot. That's a good pro tip whenever you're cooking. Um, you can actually look at it and, and make sure the flame is not too high. Um, and put your fan on low. We're going to put our lid here. All right, so we're going to bring this to a boil. After we bring this to a boil, boil we're going to turn the temperature down to a medium low, and we're going to let this simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half. And by probably around that time, we will have a good chicken soup. Okay, so the next time I see you guys, we're going to be tasting and sampling some chicken soup. We'll make some adjustments. If I need to add some salt, you know me. I don't like adding the salt in here early. I like adding the salt towards the end. I like to taste my food. I want to get, I want to experience those flavors. Uh, and we can add a little sodium. I'm trying to keep the sodium down in my diet so we can take care of the sodium at the end. There's nothing wrong with adding salt. It's just difficult to remove the salt. All right. So next time I see you, chicken soup it is. Peace. Be right back. Hey guys, our chicken soup is ready. Come take a look at this. Mmm, mmm. Look at there. Alrighty. Chunks of vegetables and chicken. Now, as you're going through here, you're going to want to fish out these bay leaves. Get them out of there. In our case, we had three, so we're looking for three bay leaves. Um, let's give it a taste. Let's see what we're up against here. Um, so we let this come to a boil, we brought it to a boil, then we went down to low, we let it cook on low heat for a little while, and uh, oh, that's good, oh, that's good. It needs some salt. Remember I told you, uh, we don't cook with the salt. We're gonna add the salt later. So, that's really good. Now, if you're going for a really low salt diet option, then don't add any salt right now. This is good. We add a little apple cider vinegar to pull out some of the collagen and more flavor. I don't taste the vinegar at all. Um, it's actually doing its job. So look at there. Alrighty. All right, let me fix you up a bowl of this wonderful chicken soup. Now, there is no excuses as to not having homemade chicken soup. Okay? No excuses. You should be making this for your family for your friends. Let's get some chicken out there too. Look at there. On a cold day like today in December, nothing like a bowl of chicken soup. All right. Mm, now that's a bowl without the salt. So if we're gonna add some salt. I use sea salt. I like using sea salt, tastes much better, a lot of flavor. And for this pot of soup, we're gonna start off with about a half a tablespoon of salt. Okay, half a tablespoon of salt. You can add more salt or less salt. You can add it at the table when you make your bowl, but to bring everything, to tie it all together, half a tablespoon of salt. Here's my other taste testing spoon. And let's see what we got. Oh, that's it, y'all. That is it. Mmm. Comfort food. Warm, cold day, chicken soup, you're not feeling good, congestion, cold, whatever it might be. This is what you need to have on your in your kitchen. Ready to go. Simple and easy. Friends, everybody, make yourself some chicken soup. It is so good. Okay, chicken soup is a wrap. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel or have not subscribed, hit the subscription button and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for our support. Uh, we love you guys. Look forward to seeing you again. Come check us out. We got more videos coming out. And 
until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>